our house collapsed. My only beloved grandmother died from the injuries she suffered. So I turned my painful past into a motivation. I never knew that uh, what I'm doing would turn this big to me and to the environment. I felt unloved, I felt discriminated because of my often falling sick from malaria. I am now part of the solution in my country. Two people, each with a vision. Joe Nalubega produces soap with a scent that repels mosquitoes. According to the UN, every two minutes, a child under the age of five dies of malaria. Even if I'm not saving all the kids that are suffering right now, I am at least saving the ones that I can. John Mary Kavuma is founder and director of the green business Upcycle Africa, which builds houses out of recycled plastic bottles. We are transforming the waste crisis in Africa into employment opportunities for marginalized groups of people. So we are constructing affordable homes. Kavuma and Nalubega are graduates of the Social Innovation Academy, or SINA for short. It's located in the town of Mpigi, about 30 kilometers south of Uganda's capital, Kampala. Here, young people, including orphans and street kids, learn how to develop their ideas into successful businesses. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, only a few students are currently able to attend classes on campus. It is not giving them information like a teacher, this is what you need to do or this is the right answer, but helping them to discover their own answers, to understand um, what are the next steps, what are the goals, how can they achieve what they want to achieve. German social entrepreneur Etienne Seiborn founded SINA in 2014 for people who want to build their own career paths. The academy is financed by donations. It's been over 10 years since Zaiborn met Joan and John Mary while volunteering in an orphanage. They've known each other a long time. Zaiborn quickly realized that a lot of young people in Uganda have no formal work. The country has one of the youngest and fastest growing populations in Africa. Especially in Uganda, People are not prepared to, to work together, to present themselves, to ask critical questions, to find their own solutions, their own answers. And we are learning that in SINA. And that's why often not everybody will become an entrepreneur, but many of our scholars as well that have been in SINA have found jobs. One of the solutions led to Kampala, where plastic waste is a huge problem. 350,000 tons of trash accumulate in the Ugandan capital every year and only half of it is disposed of. Much of the plastic lands on this trash dump. Recycling isn't common here. John Mary Kavuma pays young trash collectors to gather bottles that he can then use to build houses. Every time I come here and uh, I do like give some money to other people to do, for example, recycling, or keeping our environment clean, it gives me a lot of hope that even the future generation will inherit a healthy planet that we have, uh, we have done or we have protected from plastic waste. Earth is pressed into the plastic bottles to make bricks. Many women work for Kavuma's business, giving them the chance to earn their own money. Our wages were raised recently. Now I can pay my daughter's university tuition and give her the opportunity to graduate. Kavuma says the houses are cool inside, even on hot days. His business has already constructed more than 100 buildings, using over 3 million plastic bottles in the process. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, commissions have slowed, but there is funding coming in from abroad. We are revising uh, different solutions on the way we can be able to survive as a, a company. However, we also got some uh, people who came along to support us. For example, we got uh, some funding from IKEA and Achumen that uh, decided to support us, in, especially in the era of COVID-19. This woman supplies Joan Alabega with lemongrass, a key ingredient in her soap. She brings some bars by, these days for free.
Before the COVID-19 crisis, she sold her soap to tourists and hotels for a higher price so she could keep the price down for locals. Now that there are hardly any tourists, she's expanded her online business. It helps that the soap's effectiveness has been scientifically verified. In the past, people often got sick with malaria, especially children. But since we've been using the soap, it's been a while since anyone here has had malaria. The refugee settlement Nakivale in western Uganda. It provides shelter for more than 100,000 people who fled the violence in neighboring countries such as South Sudan. Many people have lived here for years, including Victor Mafiga. Together with Etienne Zaiborn, he brought the Sina model to Nakivale. Finding work tends to be even harder for refugees than for young Ugandans. A few of Victor's trainees have already been awarded prize money at music festivals. In Nakivale refugee settlement, there are a lot of young people with dormant uh, skills, people who don't have no more chances to go to school uh, and also no opportunities. We come to realize that refugees, artists cannot only depend on arts, but they can also do something else to earn a living. But there have also been setbacks. Because of COVID-19, a Sina branch in South Africa had to be put on hold. Nevertheless, Etienne Zaiborn remains convinced that Sina will play a part in more success stories, like those of John Mary Kavuma and Joan Nalabega. I have a vision to make my country a better place. I have a vision to make Africa, instead of running away from it, to make it a better place. If my uh, grandmother happened to see me now, I know she would be proud of me.